Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathBlog and this lesson is titled Use Properties to Add. This is lesson 1-5 in our textbook that we're following. So uh, here's our common course strand and then our essential question is how can we add more than two add-ins? Okay, add-ins are just the numbers we're going to add together. Okay, we learned about the commutative property prior to this lesson, uh, the commutative property of addition, and it says that we can add two or more numbers in any order and get the same sum. Remember, sum means just the answer to addition problems. So, for example, 16 plus 9 is the same as 9 plus 16. Do you see how the 16 and 9 just, they, they commuted around this addition sign. It changed to 9 plus 16. Like when I drive to work, I am commuting to work in my truck. Um, so these numbers are commuting around the addition sign. So that's why it's called the commutative property of addition. 16 plus 9 equals 25. 9 plus 16 also equals 25. So it doesn't matter which order you put them in. The associative property of addition it states that we can group the add-ends in different ways and still get the same sum. So it just talks about grouping numbers. Remember, when you group them, you do those numbers first. It's also called the grouping property. I've never seen it called the grouping property until I saw this textbook. Anyway, so for example, if we said um, uh, 16 plus 7 plus 23, this says we're going to group these guys first and add these together first. Well, what the associative property says is we don't have to add those ones first. We can add the second two first, and we'll get the same sum. Okay, so watch this, you guys. Um, uh, if we added 16 plus 7 and got that number, and then, uh, which is uh, 23, by the way, and then added 23 again, we'll get the same when we add over here. But this way is quicker over here because 7 plus 23 gives us 30. And then we can just go 16 plus 30. 16 plus 30 is 46, okay? Over here we'd get 23 plus 23, which also equals 46. But it's easier to get the 30, which is a friendly number. Remember in the last lesson, friendly numbers end in zeros and they're easier to add. So we can change the, the order of the grouping of the add-ins to make the combinations that are easy to add that way. So it's easier to add 7 plus 23 first uh, than uh, it would be to add 16 plus 7. Okay, all right, let's try a problem here. Mr. Barry sold, um, uh, whoops, he sold, sold, it says. He sold once. He sold 23 carrots, uh, 38 oranges, and 42 apples at the farmer's market. How many pieces of produce did he sell? I should have wrote sell, sell. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're going to find 23 plus 38 plus 42. We're going to add these numbers together. All right, let me move that up right there, okay? So uh, let's look for an easier way to add. So let's go ahead and line up the numbers by place value. That just means vertically right here. So here the 1s are lined up and the 10s are lined up, okay? this is The, the 20 is the 10s and the 3 is the 1s, okay? All right, and then... Um, so step two, let's uh, uh, group the ones that makes them easy to add. Okay, well, let's look at those ones right there. Here's all the ones. I got three, eight, and two right there. Okay, let's think for a second. Let's try and make a ten right here. Well, three and eight, that doesn't make ten, but check this out. Eight plus two makes ten right there. So if we went ahead and added eight plus two, which is ten, and then 10 plus 3, this is a nice friendly number. We can add with friendly numbers because it ends in a 0. 10 plus 3 is 13. So we'll put the 3 down for the 13 right here and put the 1 up here. We'll carry the 1 up in the 10 spot right there. And then we can just go ahead and uh, add these numbers. But uh, here's another way we can do this. We can group the 10s to make them easy to add. And if you Look at those tens right there, and we can uh, do what's uh, called double. So, so check this out right here. There's doubles happening. Three plus two is five, and check this out. Four plus one is also five, and five and five is easier to add than adding these. You get the same number, but five plus five. There's five right there. There's five right there, and if we added five plus five, that adds up to ten. So we just carry the ten. So it's a hundred three. Okay. And so 23 plus 38 plus 42 is equal to 103. So Mr. Berry uh, sold 103 pieces of produce in all. Okay, we well, look pretty quick, huh, you guys? That was slick. So if we, we add these guys first, that gets us 10 right there. And so when we add this 10 with this 3 is 13. So we carried the 3 and the 1 right there. And then if you just look, and we're just looking for quicker ways to add, you guys, faster ways. 2 and 3 is 5. 4 and 1 is 5, and you can add this 5 and 5 to get this 10 right here, okay? 
Nice and easy. All right, let's try something else here. So explain how to uh, how to group the digits to make them easier to add. All right, well, in the last problem, what we did is we can group the digits uh, to add that got the 10 first. And when, a 10 is a nice, friendly number right here. So uh, 10 would then add to this 3 to get us this 13. Then we can... Um, and we can uh, group the digits in the, in this part over here and, and make doubles. So this is 5, this is 5, and 5 and 5 is 10. So there are just some strategies how to add uh, uh, numbers faster, you guys. So let's use properties, the properties that we learned to uh, find 36 plus 37 plus 51. So let's go ahead and line up uh, the numbers by the place value. Okay, and then uh, let's change the grouping of the numbers. Okay, so what we're going to do instead of um, uh, adding... Uh, the 36 and the 37, what, we, I, what we're going to do is uh, think of adding uh, the 37 and 51 first. It might be easier because there's no carrying numbers or regrouping right here. Because see, 7 plus 1 is 8, and so I don't have to carry anything, and 3 plus 5 is 8, so this just adds up to 88 right there. Okay, so um, now we can just add 36 plus 88. Okay, so um, uh, 6 plus 8 is 14, so we'll put the 4 here and carry the 1 right there. Okay, and then we just go ahead and add. 1 plus 3 is uh, 4, and then 4 plus 8 gets us that 12, so 124. Okay, and what we did, instead of adding these, because we had to carry numbers, I mean, we can, we can add 6 plus 7 is 13, plus 1 is 14. We'd carry the 4 down here. And I'm sorry, put the 4 down here and then carry the 1. And then 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 3 is 7, and then 7 plus 3 is 12. So we have 124 still. But we're just, you know, we're regrouping some numbers to make it easier right there, okay? So anyways, uh, 36 plus 37 plus 51 equals 124. Okay, let's try this. Let's use some properties to add, you guys. So we're going to find 11 plus 16 plus 19 plus 14. Okay, so there we go. And then uh, let's just go ahead and use the commutative property of addition to change the ordering. So watch, I'm going to change the numbers around right there. And I just flipped them around right here. And the reason why I flipped them around is because I'm going to make some nice friendly numbers. Nice friendly numbers end in zero. 9 and 1 adds to 10, and 6 and 4 also adds to 10 right there. So we have 10 and 10 just from those 1s right there, okay? So what we can do is, is this adds up to 20 right here. So we can carry the 0 right down here for the 20 and put the 2 up there, okay? All right, so there's that right there. And then we just go ahead and add up these 4 1s plus 2 more right there gets us 6 right there. So it's equal to 60 right there. So 11 plus 16 plus 19 plus 14 adds up to 60, okay? And so what we did is we just added this 1 and this 9 got us 10. This 6 and this 4 got us 10. So 10 and 10 was 20. And then we added up the 1s. There were 4 1s plus the 2 is 60, okay? So when you get better at it, you can start doing this kind of, you know, in your head. And I know in your head, maybe your teacher doesn't want you to do that. They do want you to show your work. But, you know, if, uh, if you're doing a quick test, um, like for a state test, this common core stuff that we're doing, uh, you can probably do some of this stuff in your head. All right, let's try another one here, you guys. So this one says um, uh, we're going to add 17 plus the, the grouping 33 plus 45. So what we're going to do is regroup the numbers right here, okay? So use the associative property of addition to change the grouping of the numbers right there. Okay, well, what numbers pair up well? Well, look at this. This 3 and 7 gives us a 10. So those ones pair up nicely. So let's add those guys first right there. So... 7 plus 3 is 10, so I'll carry the 1 or the 0 right there and put a 1 up there. And then we get um, uh, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. So these two guys add up to 50 right there. So now we can just go ahead and add 50 and 45, and that gets us 95. Okay, we would have got 95 the other way if we would have added seven, if we would have added these two first and then added 17. But if you can regroup and get some friendly numbers, it just kind of goes a little bit faster. Okay, guys, I hope that video makes sense, and take care. I hope you're having a great year so far.